You probably think of an older building with pews, maybe a pulpit, some stained glass windows. But as it turns out, more people are opening churches in unconventional places as part of a trend known as church planting. Fox 5's Sharon Crowley shows us how those involved are hoping to bring a sense of faith directly to communities. and our mission is to be a church that's in and for East Harlem uh, to show the love of God um, to our community. Pastor Justin Adore opened Redeemer East Harlem in the fall of 2019. This relatively young church is not fancy. Sunday services happen in a large event hall above a laundromat on East 116th Street in East Harlem. Pastor Adore is a church planter. We want to be about both knowing the love of God in Christ, uh, but also showing the love of God in Christ. Church planting, it seems, has become more and more popular in the last couple of years, especially among people who are looking for an alternative to traditional churches. Church planting has become like the thing to do maybe in the last 15 years. Reverend Elizabeth Rios is the founder and president of Passion to Plant. Church planting basically means that we're going into communities and we're bringing the gospel to new areas. The Passion to Plant Network trains its planters to start justice-oriented churches in underserved communities. The Jesus that we serve cares about the issues that are going on in communities around the country. She focuses on helping black and brown pastors plant churches. Most of these church planting networks are led by white males. Some of the issues that are going on on the ground in urban communities are not on their radar. It's usually very easy to create a church. Lloyd Meyer is a law professor at Notre Dame. The test for both state and federal purposes is, are you sincere in your religious belief? whatever that beliefs are, and are you forming a church, which usually means a congregation of some type. He says that church planters are entitled to the same state and federal tax breaks that traditional houses of worship get. Governments cannot distinguish between different branches of the faith, right? They can't prefer a church that's part of a denomination versus a church that's not. They can't prefer Christian over Jewish, over Muslim, over Buddhist. However, church planters, like other religious institutions, must prove legitimacy. They can't disqualify you because you're an independent organization that's not affiliated formally with any other religious group. They would maybe have to ask, well, do you sincerely believe your religious beliefs? And that's all the government can have. They can't say, we think your beliefs are ridiculous, right? So a church is not just a religious organization, but a religious organization that has a primary function of having believers gathered together to worship, to pray, to engage in sacraments, and so on. Pastor Adore and his wife and children hope to make a difference here in East Harlem. Genuinely, our dream is to be a church that uh, really becomes known as being good news for our community. He wants to grow his congregation and improve the lives of those who live in this neighborhood, planting a church that grows roots in this community. If our neighborhood, if our community sees our church and recognizes our church as a church that's genuinely loving and serving East Harlem, that is a win for us. It just felt like God was calling us to plant this church here. In East Harlem, Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News. Makes sense, you're gonna go where the people are. Exactly, yeah.